Hi, I'm Katie Falco, head women's basketball coach at Lindenwood University. My husband and I are proud parents of three children and we currently live in the St. Charles area. My name is Devin Fearing. I am a grad student on the Lindenwood women's basketball team. Um, I graduated with my bachelor's in recreational therapy and I plan on getting my master's in um, fitness and wellness. I fell in love with the game at a young age. I was able to play college basketball at the Division I level. Uh, I had coaches that really impacted me personally and in, in my uh, basketball career, and I wanted to be able to do the same. So I got my feet wet as a graduate manager, um, and that led to a full-time Division I coaching uh, positions. I was an assistant at the Division I level for 14 years prior to Linwood calling. And when Linwood reached out, I fell in love with the people, I fell in love with the vision, and I knew this was the place I needed to be to start my head coaching journey. Yeah, everything we do is about the student athlete experience. And there are four areas within our program that we stress. And, and we talk about this from the very beginning, from the first recruiting call that we have to the first opportunity we have to sit down with families, to talk to people about our program. And in no particular order um, of priority, but the first one is the basketball experience. We are committed to developing our players and getting the most out of their potential, maximizing uh, what we feel like they can become as basketball players. Um, and the second piece that uh, we emphasize is our academic opportunity that our players will have. We have a very strong academic culture here within our Linwood women's basketball program. And it starts from the beginning. It starts with finding young women who uh, take academics seriously, who want to do well, who want to be surrounded uh, with like-minded women as well. And we're really proud of what we've been able to accomplish. And that's something that we emphasize, that their basketball career won't stand in the way of their academic success and vice versa. We believe that the academic experience they're gonna have at Lindenwood is gonna to be top-notch. The third piece that we talk a lot about is personal growth and development off the court. We use basketball as a platform to teach life skills. And we really want to give our players an experience where they can really grow, they can be great citizens in the, after college. We want to uh, teach them skills of how to handle adversity, how to handle challenges, what it looks like to go through the maturation process. Um, and the last piece of it would be how do we serve? Community service is a big part of the experience that anybody in our program is gonna experience. We like to give back to the community of St. Charles and the surrounding areas. Uh, we wanna be a part of something bigger than ourselves. We wanna help shape uh, perspective. We wanna help teach gratitude. We feel like serving and giving back to a community is, is one of the best ways to do that. Coach Falco has helped me throughout my college career in more ways than one. For her, it is much more than just basketball and she takes a lot of pride in our academic success. She cares a lot about how we perform in the classroom. She wants us to succeed after we're through here with our college careers, and she does a lot of things for us to set us up for success once we're graduated throughout here. So um, academic-wise, you know, she has set me up on a great path to have a successful career one day. I think what I will always remember about Coach Falco is how she cares about us as people and how invested she is in our personal lives and you know whether it be like a Christmas party or an end of year party just the times that we spend together whether it be team activities or when she invites us over to her house and we make Christmas cookies like it's the relationship piece and it's how Coach Falco cares about us as people and not just basketball players that I think I will always remember about her. Littlewood has a variety of academic options for any student to pursue, and we're very proud of that. And this doesn't include all of them, but a few really highlighted ones would be business, finance, math, sciences, communications. We have a lot of players pursuing health professional degrees. Our women's basketball players are extremely hardworking. They're diligent. They're honest. They want to be successful. They have uh, time management skills. Being a, a college athlete in addition to a student re definitely requires those skills. They communicate well, they've got strategies to be able to endure um, multitasking. And, and I think that's really important. The platform that basketball creates it has direct carryover to being a great employee past 
past their college career. Anytime there's an opportunity to put our players in front of people to pursue their careers and their academic endeavors, that's something we absolutely support. Uh, we can guarantee you that we have prepared and helped educate our players to be productive citizens in this world, um, but also would be great employees to have in your, in your business. The skills that I have learned in basketball are going to carry with me in my career. For example, I like to tell people that I've gained great leadership skills. I've gained great communication skills. I take pride in always being the hardest worker in the room, whether that be in the classroom, on the basketball court, or in my career one day. With my experience, my years of being a veteran, there's been many instances where I've had to step up and be that leadership role. And I think it comes into play in the difficult times, in the difficult positions, you know, where I may have to step up and say something that some people may not like to hear, but it's what they want to hear. Certainly the people first. We absolutely love the people we have in this program. And the reason it's a strength is because it's bigger than basketball. We believe we've got uh, the right people, the right young women in this program. They're gonna represent Linwood in a very positive light. And what people are going to see from these women are gonna be something that's gonna be exceptional, that are gonna be able to push not only our program, but this university to a new level. We also have wonderful facilities that we're really proud of. Uh, the basketball arena that we get to play in is, is top notch and, and it's beautiful. And the one thing that everybody says that comes to campus is how beautiful campus is and how beautiful our facilities are. And we're really proud of that. It's, it's attractive to the community, to recruits, to families, to employees. Uh, it's, it's a wonderful location to be in. And then certainly the St. Charles area and the community, what it has to offer. And then we're right connected to the St. Louis County. So you can make your experience as big or as small as you want here at Littlewood. It's been exciting, but challenging, absolutely. Our players have been looking forward to this opportunity and now we're in it and, and uh, we're really enjoying it. We're learning a lot about ourselves. We're learning a lot about this process, but it's a, a level of excitement that we know we're just gonna get better and better every day. We are now officially in the Ohio Valley Conference, also known as the OVC. And we just think the OVC is a fantastic fit uh, from a regional, uh, perspective. It makes sense where we're located. Um, from a competitive standpoint, uh, we feel like uh, there's a lot of great tradition in the OVC for women's basketball and it's going to continue. There's been a lot of great teams that have come and been able to gain national recognition through this league, through this conference. And we also feel like it's a neat opportunity because there's also going to be a fresh start. You know, there's three new teams uh, that have joined the OVC this year uh, with us being one of them. And so there's an opportunity for us to make an impact early. Uh, there's an opportunity I feel that we're going to be able to have to compete. Um, and where we are now to where we're going, we feel like the OVC is that home for us. It's going to allow us to provide our student athletes a great experience on the court and uh, push our program to the next level. The neat thing about the OVC that I think is naturally going to be created as well are the rivalries. Regionally where we're located, uh, there's going to be some teams that we're going to be able to compete with. It'll be really fun that we haven't been able to have in the past. So we're looking forward to what uh, rivalries naturally form and, and competing in those games. The vision that I certainly have for our women's basketball program is that we're going to be competing for championships. You know, we really believe that we're building something right now. We're laying the foundation uh, for something great. And we've got the people that are doing that. We have people that are bought into what we're about and where we're going. Linwood itself has a, a phenomenal opportunity to experience success rather quickly, I feel like, because of where we're located and the opportunities that our leadership at our university is going to continue to provide athletics and the buy-in and the excitement that the community has already expressed for Linwood. And so now it comes down to continuing to find people who believe in what we're doing and where we're going and, and uh, excited about the challenge because it's going to be hard, but we know it's something that uh, we can do and we're really looking forward to. We need your help. We need your help physically. We need your help financially. 
we would love for you to come to our women's basketball games first and foremost. Get to see the young women that we have in our program and the product that we're gonna put on the floor. We can guarantee that it's gonna be something you're gonna be proud of. We need your help fiscally. Uh, we are needing resources to be able to push our program to the next level. The Division I level requires uh, resources that we just quite frankly don't have yet. And to be able to compete with the best and to be able to compete for championships, it's gonna require resources to be able to do so. Those resources also uh, will be providing our student athletes an experience beyond what we've done so far. And that's really important to the joy and uh, the excitement that we have for Littlewood women's basketball. Guidance that I would give to anyone who is considering supporting our program and Coach Katie Falco, I would say is just that it's the right decision. I think for me and the fact that I've been here quite a few years and I've seen the jumps and the improvements that we have made over the years, that this is only the beginning. And I think we do a great job of thinking outside the box and getting out in the community. And with our move to Division I now and what we have going here as a coaching staff, I think we are setting ourselves up for success. And I think that Lindenwood is going to go somewhere great. And I would encourage these people to be a part of something and sort of build the foundation with us because I think it's gonna be exciting stuff to come. And I would encourage you to support Coach Falco in any way that you can.